Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to build a menorah. So that way you have just a nice festive thing to reside over whatever place you have. So before I begin, remember, please like and subscribe. And without further ado, onto the tutorial. So we're only going to be using three blocks, or you could add a couple more if you want to make your fires taller, which we probably will do. And what we want to have is polished to deep slate, a lot of smooth quartz, and about nine blocks of netherrack. Then find yourself an area. I recommend having it on a tall area so that way it can reside over whatever you have. And then make a simple foundation. Seven by seven will work good. So five blocks like this, then surround it with that polished deep slate and then just make it a very small structure. From here with our small structure, we want to just tower up a good 20 or 30 blocks, or actually 15 might be a good choice, mainly because if we make this too tall, then it will just overpower the train and might just look awkward. So a good 10 to 15 blocks, because this is five, so just going to make a little gradient here. That's 10, and then from here, this is 15, so it's up to you. You can see 15 blocks might be a little too short, but on the other hand, 30 could be too tall. Either way, you just want to tower up the middle and create some sort of spire that's about 3x3. Three three. So, with our 20 block tall spire, we now need to make a couple of nodes on it. So, we need four of them on each side, so space them accordingly, so we'll 3x3s, three and they need to be 3x3 three three in space, but they can be really as far apart as you want, so there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can probably fit four nodes on either side quite comfortably if they're one block apart, so I'd recommend doing that if you're copying me. So. We now have what looks like part of a spine, and what we need to do with it now is chop off the top and bottom blocks of the nodes and turn it into a staircase, which sounds kind of weird, but it's actually what we need to do. So, like this, and I'd recommend doing the first blocks of each layer at the same time so that way you don't bonk your head repeatedly if they're only one block apart. So, in order to make this, all we need to do is place a block on top of the stair here. Then, on the tops and bottoms, we place a stairs accordingly. And, we want them to all go up to the same Y level. So, right here would be good. Which, albeit making this point really short, you could increase the height of this to 25 in response. So, the progress is going pretty well on this, and two things to say. If you are on Java Edition, putting in this command right here will net you a debug stick. And by using a debug stick, you can edit the rotation of stairs. So say I mess one up, albeit that's a bit of an exaggeration example, you can change the angle of the stair. So that way, if you're having trouble placing down the stairs, you can actually edit them if you're in a hard to reach position, such as here. It can be very useful to use a debug stick. Then, if you celebrate Kwanzaa, you can actually remove an arm from each side in order to make this a Kanara. Albeit, you'd have to change the color of the candles. Still, it's a neat thing you can do if you're on a mission to show as many holidays in your world. So, we got the arms going on. And what we need to do before we finally add the candles is we need to put an ending to each layer. So you can see on the flat surfaces, we should add extra blocks. And on the stared surface, put upside down stairs in order to provide a transition. Do that for each of these segments and then make the middle spire five blocks taller. Because my last menorah 
turns out isn't actually classified as a menorah, mainly because they all need to be the same height, except the middle one. So make sure your middle one is taller and the rest of them are the same height. So now we are on to the part where we need to add the final thing to the actual thing. So in order to do that, we need just a couple of stairs surrounding the base of the candle. And I placed on white concrete, since it won't be visible, not important to what block it is besides like TNT, or even you can do that. But aside from that, add these, and we need to add a gradient. So there should be a card appearing right about now in the top right hand corner that we do to a tutorial a little bit older, so my voice is kind of cringe there about how to do a gradient. So, if you're struggling with how to do the next step, I recommend going back here and clicking on the thing in the top right. Then, just finish this off and stack maybe about 10 blocks starting from here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And make the 10th block netherrack. So, we have the candles. I lit them for demonstration purposes, albeit it's November 26th right now, so I should really not be lighting these until actual Hanukkah, or at least as of 2022, Hanukkah doesn't start until much later. But aside from that, turn these into gradients. So I'm just going to copy paste that gradient here, and this is not how you build a gradient. So you need to vary the size of these segments. So make some of them have longer reds, shorter other segments, make them all unique. And if you want to go for a true realism, make the ones on the left a little bit more burnt down, so more red, while the ones on the right have a little less, because that would be the order you'd light the candles in, therefore some of them would be more burnt. With our candles now having a gradient on them, they look much better. And to clear up a little bit of a discrepancy, because I don't personally celebrate Hanukkah, I did not know, you actually light the middle candle first. So having that one be more burnt would be more accurate. So all of them are lit roughly at the same time, so it really doesn't even matter. So I say this build is done, but there's one final thing. I think it might actually look better to remove the polished deep slate. Because albeit I do heavily recommend having more blocks in your build, having this one just be completely stark white is actually quite nice because it just gives off a nice modern feel. And if you don't particularly like the modern feel, fortunately I made an older tutorial about this concept, albeit it's not technically a menorah, it covers a different design. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. So, take care, enjoy the holidays, and Gearsaw out.